All right, everyone, how you guys doing? This is the coverage on the new iPhone 4S. Here is a comparison video. On the right hand side, you've got the new iPhone 4S and on the left hand side, you've got the previous iPhone 4. And there is kind of no external change between the two devices in terms of physical kind of look, but inside is where the magic happens. And as you can see, the iPhone 4S again on the right hand side, shoots in 1080p 30 frames per second and the previous generation iPhone 4 doesn't look like a previous generation iPhone 4 but here it is, shoots in 720p 30 frames per second and right after I got the, or I picked up the new iPhone 4S I took it for a spin drive and as you can see here I'm at a place called Whiteley Wind Farm because no doubt you guys are going to ask that is gorgeous! Indeed it is, this is the Europe's world, or not the world's, Europe's largest wind farm and uh, I thought I would come here, do we drive by just joking, here I've got my MacBook Air set up with my 3 MiFi dongle and I don't know what to make of this uh, to me both of them are kind of exactly the same I guess the magic really does happen is when you can fully blow it up to 1080p um, but I can't honestly see a difference, and maybe I'm missing something, you know, and maybe or maybe it's just me. But in terms of the clouds, both are kind of almost identical. There is no kind of, uh, of, of course there's not going to be any lag this time of day, but there is nothing, you know, iPhone 4S boasts great pictures, you know, it's got a better sensor, it's 33% faster in terms of taking snaps and uh, I commend Apple on doing that and it's got more light coming through the, the sensor as well so that makes it much more easier but in terms of the video, um, yeah, <laughs> take for what you will, here it is in my MacBook Air, it's literally about to fly off the bonnet of my car, it is going to be in the Air, the MacBook Air. Let's go a bit closer up to this grass and I hope the colours are coming out fine. I think the iPhone 4S is, well nope, and both are identical now in terms of colour grade. Oops, the left hand side has gone a bit more white balanced than both of them are now. Litter, a can of iron brew. Pick your litter up sun next time you drop something or once you finish the can. But there you go, let's move on to the front facing camera test. And guys, this is a similar test, apart from the fact that this is the front facing camera, that is correct. Again, on the right hand side we have the iPhone 4S and on the left hand side we have the previous generation iPhone 4. This is the part where I thought Apple could have really done better. A killer for me would have been, in terms of the next generation iPhone, which happens to be the 4S, is the front facing camera. I think that would have been a killer feature for me and I'm not too sure why it's flashing. Uh, I think it's because of the wind uh, or my fingers were kind of going over the camera and I was shaking a little bit. Um, but again, similar, I th for some reason the clouds on the 4 are showing up better. Uh, can you guys, do you guys agree? What do you think? Do you think the front facing camera on the 4 is that better or is the 4S better? Both are VGA cameras, nothing's been done to the 4S camera. Uh, which is a bit disappointing and um, there we go guys, let's give you a ground shot I think the 4S has a better white balance on this shot here but it is giving me these flashes for some reason, I don't know what on earth is going on I'm pretty sure it wasn't like this when I was shooting the video So here's what the iPhone 4S looks like when fully blown up in a video Wow, that looks absolutely gorgeous and I can kind of see why, you know, the rear facing camera is better um, in the 4S in terms of video. Uh, I think it looks pretty neat, pretty sweet. Let's for comparison add on the iPhone 4 on the screen and see how well it compares. <laughs> okay, so putting them side to side, or side by side, they look almost identical. Maybe it's just me. Maybe when they're fully blown up that's when you can really tell, but as of this point, I can't really seem to notice a difference. Perhaps the 4S is a little bit better in white balance, just a tiny wee bit. Um, but if you guys have done tests, leave them as video responses. What do you think? You guys make the call. I am just kind of showing you the video, I suppose. In terms of how text and you know images appear, I thought I would shoot this video. I am indeed using the microphone, built-in microphone of the iPhone 4S. And here's just kind of give you an indication of how text and kind of small writing as shown. Let's turn it over and boom. There we go. Let's give this a try as well. One of my favourite gadgets. 
And let's see how the tiny writing appears, eh? There we go. And the lighting is pretty decent in this room. The warning signs. Mm-hmm. Here's what it's like in low light condition. There are no lights on apart from kind of light coming in here, but you know, the room is dark. The lights are indeed switched on. Here's my MacBook Air just doing some editing, as you can see. And boom, let's see. Stuff lying on my desk. My desk is a mess. And you can just a bit make the dwarf out on the 4S. Yes, can we? Hopefully the video's telling this, Captain McTavish, Soap McTavish, but it's Captain McTavish for you, son. The iPod, or the iPad box, is lying there.